you know, there's been a lot of talk about the, the, the wide receiver core and how it's coming up and who's going to be, you know, who's going to fill that role that Malcolm had last year as the, like the primary, uh, as the primary guy. Um, how do you feel like that's developing and, and how do you feel like you fit, kind of fit in the plans at this point? Uh, I feel like everyone's adjusting to, to it well. Uh, every person on our receiver core has a different talent that they could bring to the group. So, and I feel like everyone is learning how to use us in different aspects of the game. So I feel like it's going fine and we're not letting that get our head. Feel like the old guy in that group at all since you've been, are you, are you the only senior? Or, or I guess you and K Towns? Uh, me and K Towns. So you feel like the old guy? I mean, are you kind of the go-to about you know, some, some questions and things like that? Um, I don't speak on that. I just play football. <laughs> Was it? Uh, did you have to feel like you had to relearn everything with Tim Cheney, or has there been a, a good bit of carryover on that? Um, it's been a little bit of carryover, but also I had to learn more offense as a concept instead of just by position. So it's helping me grow as a player. Right. How much do you think you have grown as a player over the past couple of years? Uh, I feel like I've grown a lot, especially now since I've taken it on my own to grow more mature mentally and handle things more than I did in the past. So I feel like I've grown a lot more. Did you handle things wrong? Give me an example kind of thing. I always had a mindset of I'll do it later and uh, later call it to me. So. <laughs> yeah. How much does Tennessee still motivate you? Uh, that motivates me a lot. Um, you know, I still get those tweets and pictures. Uh, you know, at first it, it's heartbreaking, but then, you know, you can't let your past uh, carry you down too much. So you got to let the past be the past. What did you, I mean, what did you do to kind of rid yourself of thinking about it? How did that be so motivation? Uh, you, well, when you get all the type of tweets that you receive from fans and uh, Tennessee fans, you know, you read it and then you watch the play and then you think, how could you have done it differently? And then once you attack practice, you always keep that in the back of your mind. And then, you know, if you ever drop something, uh, you, you brush it off and you also discipline yourself with push-ups or jump machines or trying to rerun that play so you don't leave it out there, leaving plays out there on the field. What have you, what have you taken away from it? I mean, you're, you are a grizzled senior. You've played a lot of football now. And obviously, you're also a human being, so you can't be perfect. Uh, but, I mean, as an athlete, you don't ever want to make a mistake or not make a play that was there for you to make. So, I mean, kind of what's been the takeaway? Um, Coach Cheney always tells us, uh, play fast, you're going to make mistakes. It's okay to make a mistake as long as you're playing fast. So I just try to play fast and try to keep my mistakes to a minimum. I don't try to go out there and be perfect because it's just impossible. So, yeah, I try to play fast as I can.